Do you know why Maine is often referred to as the pine tree state? It's a question that might have crossed your mind. This nickname isn't just a whimsical title, it's deeply rooted in the state's rich history, a captivating tale of nature's bounty and human endeavor. Pine trees in particular have played a significant role in shaping the identity of Maine. Intrigued? You should be. Welcome back to these United States. This is your host, Lisa. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and leave a like for the algorithm. We're a growing channel. The history of Maine is as deep and vast as the Atlantic Ocean that borders it. Before the first Europeans set foot on its rocky shores, Maine was home to an array of Native American tribes. The Wabanaki, the people of the Dawnland, were among the most prominent. These tribes, including the Penobscot, Passamaquoddy, Maliseet, and Mi'kmaq, were skilled hunters, fishermen, and gatherers, living in harmony with the land for thousands of years. The early 16th century marked a new chapter in Maine's history with the arrival of European explorers. Italian explorer Giovanni da Verrazzano was likely the first European to glimpse the Maine coast in 1524, but it was Englishman Martin Pring who, in 1603, made a detailed exploration of the area. His accounts of the vast forests and abundant fish and game ignited European interest in this new world. The subsequent colonization of Maine was a complex and often tumultuous process. English, French, and Dutch settlers began to establish trading posts and colonies along the coast. These colonists sought to exploit the area's abundant natural resources, from the lush forests to the teeming marine life. The arrival of these settlers, however, led to a clash of cultures with the native inhabitants. As the Europeans began to encroach on their lands, the native tribes of Maine were forced to defend their way of life. This led to a series of conflicts known as the Anglo-Wabanaki Wars. These wars, which spanned over a century, were marked by periods of intense violence and tentative peace. The impacts of these conflicts had profound effects on the region, shaping the social, economic, and political landscape of Maine. Despite these conflicts, there were also moments of cooperation and mutual understanding between the native tribes and European settlers. Trade networks were established, cultural exchanges occurred, and alliances were formed. These interactions, both contentious and harmonious, played a pivotal role in forging the Maine we know today. The stage was set for Maine to become a unique blend of cultures and traditions, shaped by both conflict and cooperation. Maine's journey to statehood was far from straightforward. This tale begins with the American Revolution, a time of tumult and transformation. The revolution, which took place from 1775 to 1783, was a crucible of change, not just for the 13 colonies that would form the United States, but also for the District of Maine, then still a part of Massachusetts. In the years following the revolution, Maine's population grew rapidly, and with it, a sense of distinct identity yet the path to statehood was not clear. The War of 1812, a conflict between the United States and the British Empire, complicated matters further. Maine found itself on the front lines, its cities and towns often caught in the crossfire. This war was a defining moment for the region, solidifying its resolve to seek statehood. But Maine's journey was not over. The Missouri Compromise of 1820 added another layer of complexity. This federal legislation was an attempt to maintain the balance of power in Congress between slave and free states. Maine's bid for statehood was directly linked to this compromise. As a free state, Maine would counterbalance the admission of Missouri, a slave state. This negotiation was fraught with tension. Both sides of the slavery debate understood the implications of this decision. It was not just about Maine and Missouri, it was about the future of the nation. The compromise was eventually reached and Maine was admitted as a free state on March 15, 1820. This marked a significant milestone in the fight against slavery and set the stage for future battles on the issue. And thus, against all odds, Maine emerged as the 23rd state of the United States. This was not just an achievement for the people of Maine, but a testament to the enduring spirit of democracy, a spirit that continues to shape the state and the nation to this day. Now back to our initial question, why is Maine called the Pine Tree State? It's a question that takes us back to the 1600s when Maine was a British colony. The tall, straight trunks of the eastern white pine abundant in the region were ideal for ship mass. 
Recognizing the value of these trees, the British Crown claimed all of Maine's white pines over 24 inches in diameter, marking them with a broad arrow. This broad arrow policy led to great resentment among the settlers who saw these trees as their own resource, and it was a contributing factor to the American Revolution. But the pine tree's significance to Maine didn't end with the Revolution. Far from it. In the 19th century, logging became a major part of the state's economy, and the white pine was at the center of it all. Lumberjacks would fell the trees in winter, then float them downriver to sawmills in spring. The white pine built homes, businesses, and entire towns across the state. In the 20th century, the pine tree became a symbol of Maine's resilience. When devastating fires swept through the state in the mid-1940s, many feared that the forest would never recover. But recover they did, and the white pine was at the forefront of that recovery. Today, you'll see the white pine everywhere in Maine, from the state flag to the state seal. The pine tree is also deeply embedded in Maine's culture. It's celebrated in songs and stories, in art and literature. It's a part of every Maine resident's life, whether they're hiking in the northern forests or strolling through Portland's city parks. So the pine tree isn't just a tree in Maine, it's a symbol of their identity and spirit. It's a testament to the state's history, to the toughness of its people, and to their deep connection with the land. The pine tree stands tall and proud, much like the people of Maine themselves. It's a fitting emblem for the state that calls itself the pine tree state. Scene script. Fast forward to today, Maine has evolved while holding onto its roots. The pine tree state, as it is popularly known, has retained its rugged charm while making remarkable strides in various fields. It's a beautiful blend of the old and the new, where the past coexists harmoniously with the present. Economically, Maine has managed to diversify its industries, moving beyond the traditional sectors of fishing, farming, and forestry. Technology and healthcare have emerged as significant contributors to the state's economy, creating new opportunities for its residents. The state's commitment to sustainable practices has also paved the way for a burgeoning green economy, with renewable energy and ecotourism gaining traction. Education-wise, Maine has consistently prioritized quality and accessibility. From its robust public school system to renowned institutions of higher learning, Maine's commitment to education is unwavering. The state is home to some of the nation's top liberal arts colleges, offering diverse educational opportunities to its residents and attracting students from across the globe. Environmental conservation remains a key focus for Maine. Its stunning landscapes are a testament to the state's ongoing efforts to protect and preserve its natural resources. From the verdant forest that earned it the moniker the Pine Tree State to its pristine coastline, Maine is a haven for nature enthusiasts. Culturally, Maine continues to uphold its unique traditions, adding a vibrant layer to its modern identity. The Maine Lobster Festival, for instance, is a grand annual celebration that draws visitors from all corners of the world. It's a delightful spectacle of culinary artistry and local culture, where the humble lobster takes center stage. Maine's journey from a struggling state to a thriving one is the result of the relentless spirit of its people. They've faced and overcome numerous challenges, proving that with determination and resilience, progress is possible. Maine continues to thrive, a testament to the resilience and determination of its people. In these few minutes, we've journeyed through centuries of Maine's history. From its early dawn, shaped by the indigenous tribes that first called it home, Maine has always been a land of rich heritage and diverse cultures. The state's early history is marked by the intricate tapestry of Native American tribes that thrived here, their stories etched into the very fabric of Maine's identity. The struggle for statehood was no easy feat. It wasn't a matter of simply signing a document or drawing a border. It was a battle, a fight for recognition and autonomy. It was the courage and tenacity of Maine's people that eventually led to its statehood in 1820, marking a significant milestone in its history. The Pine Tree State, as it is fondly called, owes its nickname to the towering evergreens that grace its landscape. These majestic trees are not just a symbol of Maine's natural beauty, but also a testament to its economic resilience, as the state's lumber industry has played a significant role in its growth and development. Fast forward to modern Maine, a state that has successfully preserved its historical charm 
while embracing the advancements of the 21st century. It's a vibrant blend of old and new, where tradition meets innovation, creating a unique identity that is quintessentially Maine. From the Native American tribes to the bustling modern state, Maine's history is a captivating tale of resilience, identity, and transformation.